Hello. Today we are going to talk about setting up a email template that uses a standard user email signature when we send communications to our leads and contacts. Now there's there's two ways to go about this. One is you can do it on a user by user basis or as an administrator we can set this up for our whole organization. Now first I should start by mentioning that the out of the box email signature on your personal profile doesn't allow you to include HTML so you can't include an image in your footer you can't include links mail to links links to your website so what we've come up with is a solution using an HTML email template that uh, that allows you to do this we're kinda stepping it up a notch by introducing a customization to the user object so individual users can customize their own signature with like a special link an example for that is um, we want to say that we're salesforce.com certified so we put that in our user profile but we'll get to that a little bit later so the first thing we need to do is set up our organization letterhead I already have one set up here just to help make this a little bit quicker which I will show you and letterheads are required when you use an HTML email template so the one I created I'm just calling spar blank letterhead and when you go into it and you edit the letterhead basically you can make this as fancy as you want for our email signatures we really wanted something very very simple so I've actually created a blank uh, letterhead so you see my black my background c colors white um, my header properties the background is white the size is actually zero and I've gone through and edited the top line, the body, the middle line, footer, bottom line, to all have a, a white background and be zero pixels tall. So that basically gives me a blank letterhead to use. And letterheads are required in email templates, or I would just skip this step, but it, it is required. The next thing you need to do is create a document that maintains your logo, if you'd like to include a logo in your email attached email signatures so the company our company's name is Spar Solutions so here's our logo and this is just a document and I've attached this image to it an important thing to remember is when you are creating documents to say images like this you have the option to upload the file or you can create a link and say you have this image hosted on some other server or a URL to this this file in order to use these in email templates, this option doesn't work. You have to select the first one and actually upload and attach the file. So important step to remember. <clears throat> so once you have your letterhead in place and your document with your company logo, you can um, customize the user object if you want to allow individual users to sort of extend the information that they're displaying in their signature. To do that, go into setup customize users fields now I've already done this what you want to do is I call created a new field called email signature additional info we'll take a look at that so basically what this is is a rich text area and I've got some description information and help text to help your users know what is this thing for when they actually go to modify themselves or others in their organization so um, so this customization is already on our user object and I'll show you it in practice so if you actually go down to manage users I'll edit myself here and we are this is a test uh, enterprise edition organization so you'll see here's me here's my my user object and this is that custom field that I've added we'll edit it and you can see what you can do here so you do get this it's a rich text area so you get this WYSIWYG editor and you can attach links images and do different sorts of HTML formatting so I just put in a link to salesforce.com and I'm administrator certified with an image just to demonstrate what this looks like so the next step to do these email signatures is 
to actually create a custom HTML email template. So if you go down to Setup, Communication Templates, Email Templates, there's a lot out of the box that comes with it. So here's my user signature template that I've created. And I'll go into edit mode so you can see you know, how, how we do this. So you can see here kind of these expressions where you're grabbing different things from the user object to, to create this signature. So that means that it doesn't have to be me. Anybody using um, logging to Salesforce and sending emails, if they select this template, it will be populated with their user information. So you can see here that custom field is, here's the call to it right here. And you can see how I've attached our logo through the document. Um, and I've done that via you click in here and you can click this, um, this link to add an image. So you would click that. So there's different logos that I can use here. And then if you need to add other custom fields, you can kind of use these drop downs and select different attributes on an object. So then you just copy and paste that into the email template where you want it to appear. And this is just sort of our standard footer that, that I've created. So you would save that. Um, and now let's see how we actually use this thing. So let's take one of our leads. We'll do Joe test. And let's say we want to send him an email. So you go down to send an email. And you select a template. The template is user signature. And you can see here's the information. And you can see it's got all my personal information using that, that template. And here's that extra information that's just specific to me. And if I wanted, you know, now I can go in here and I can customize it and say whatever I want. And then you would just send it. There's actually others in here because I've tested with this lead before, but you say today's, today's the 27th. Here's the one I just sent. So there you go. And then in the history, it shows you this view, but when it comes on the from in the email itself, it's nice and nicely formatted. Um, Nicely formatted email. <clears throat> so that's it. One thing that I wanted to mention though is Salesforce gives you a lot of options. You can create a lot of different custom templates and do a lot of different things. We tried experimenting with using custom or visual force email templates for this, but the problem with that is once you create those templates, you can't change it. You can't modify the text and you can't customize it in you know when you're going to send the email to the lead or to the contact the only way you can create this and still edit it when you're going to send it is um, the, using this approach an HTML template that uses a letterhead so just something to keep in mind this is the only way we were able to to do this we did test this on the professional and enterprise edition and they work a little bit different but uh, generally the same idea this sort of video tutorial is using the Enterprise Edition. And um, that's it. So I, I hope this you guys find this useful and let us know if you uh, need any help. Thanks.